the sun flatland. And now we are beginning to um, this small hike over 40 centimeters of ashes. But not only from the ashes of this new volcano. Hello and good morning everyone. <laughs> right now we are presently um, going into that region which was actually impacted by uh, the volcanic eruption from last year. You can see the ash everywhere around here. All of this ash mostly from the 2021 Kumbh volcano. This is actually an entire, uh, this entire chain is actually pretty active in terms of volcanism and we will see some majestic landscape in terms of all the lava flow, uh, all the lava flow and all the ash deposits somewhere up to uh, two meters high ash deposits and it's going to be interesting, it's slightly cold in here. There you can see the ash fall, what the volcanic landscape looks like after an eruption. Pine trees being kind of slightly submerged in the ash, and it's, it's terrific. It's just so different from every other landscape. You can only see like black ash everywhere. Ephra deposits. In fact, if you look closely, you can actually see the ripples being made because of the winds. And you know, if you're in these places for too long and the lighter particles get into your lungs, it might cause certain breathing difficulties. we had acid rains and burned again. So as you can see we are only about um, a kilometer from the vent which is to my left over there. You can see it through the trees there and all of these areas were quite heavily affected. You can see some of the lava bombs or volcanic bombs as you get closer. I think a few of them are, no I'm not very sure about that. And you can actually see these branches break down because of the weight of the ash. And this is what it looks like very very close to the vent eh el volcán ha sido un daño terrible aquí en la isla porque se ha llevado muchos muchos kilómetros cuadrados de casas con sus terrenos, sus plátanos, su sistema de vida. Ahí lo pueden ver si se pueden imaginar si traslada esa montaña negra y esa capa alfombra gigante que quedó ahí la trasladamos sobre las casas. Puedes hacerte una idea de si tapas todo eso, pues todas las familias que se quedaron sin nada debajo de esta alfombra negra. Había más viviendas que la que toca a continuación. Esta era una zona turística. Era muy cerca de los llanos, donde tienes una zona comercial, muy cerca de Puerto Nao, la zona turística con las playas. Ahí había mucha, mucha gente. Con una vivienda única, también había gente que tenía casas de vivienda vacacional. Muchas, muchas familias. Son 1200 eh, viviendas que se vieron afectadas. Aparte de las que aún no tienen electricidad. Entonces el daño. Si imaginamos que esa montaña no existía, esta montaña es completamente nueva, toda la montaña es nueva, incluso lo que vemos de aquí es una parte pequeña, continúan varios cráteres en línea, son siete cráteres hacia allá, solo estás viendo el último cráter pequeño que rompió aquí, esto es una mínima parte, no estamos viendo solo...
as you can see i'm standing right in front of the vent that opened up in uh, september last year 2021 if you can imagine you know this entire area was almost flat and now you have this huge bump you can also see the lava flow that went down and destroyed everything in its way you can see the house is on the right and it was exactly the same in this area but now it's all gone uh, it's, it's quite a sight and kind of an overwhelming experience to be here you can still see the gases coming out you can see um, the smoke if I'm if I'm not very sure if, if, if that's very clear over here but you can see the smoke coming up and yes that's it the monster Uh, we are hiking all the way back to the parking lot, <laughs> not El Paso. Yeah. And it's this man's first day of his 24th year of his life. And Worst look at, day. <laughs> look at how tired he is. <laughs> Another person over here, almost dead. I don't know how many will reach back, but it's a very tiring hike, especially because you can see how close it is. And right now we are at the site of uh, the lava flow from the last year's eruption. As you can see right ahead, the road is completely blocked, completely destroyed, completely submerged under the lava flow. This is the lava flow. You can see the volcano behind and came all the way down. And then it went on this way, right till the sea, till the ocean. And these houses over here survived miraculously, only a few meters away from actual lava flow you can see this over here you can still see some of the fumes coming out of the volcano out there So what you see behind me is the lava flow from last year's eruption gobbling everything that came in its way from trees and vegetation to houses and everything that people had built over here um, before it went and reached the sea. You can very clearly see the difference between life and destruction. And this
So what you see behind me is another very different perspective of the lava flow. The volcano right over there and you can see the entire lava flow behind me. Buried beneath this lava flow are hundreds of houses and the human impact of this particular eruption can be seen very well over here. Look at the local wildlife. Look at these people in like three And over here you have a wild carry who's trying to get into the car. I need a wee.